the Kelsey brothers. Guys, Newt's neighborhood picks. Like, subscribe, share. Um, the big takeaway from Saturday's games, recapping, is Philadelphia and Kansas City both advanced. And as a feel-good story, the Kelsey brothers are one step closer to possibly meeting in the Super Bowl. Now, the Kansas City game. This this makes everything even more interesting because the betting favorite all year on the AFC has been Buffalo. They've been, like my buddy Ryan Patterson said, they've been trying to give the Lombardi Trophy to Buffalo all year. But, as I said, you can't discount Mahomes when he's playing, when he is the MVP this year. Mahomes just became, it was an MVP again this year. He's the MVP. And I feel like we've been trying to, Crown Buffalo all year. But anyway, in that KC game, when I, I go back to formation manipulation, I love that. It's like a new, newish term, and I watched it, and it makes so much sense. The way they set up Travis Kelsey, they put him in motion, then they send him to block for a second and a half, and then come off. The way they disguise, the way they're going to get him, I can't discount them going forward against Cincy this weekend in the AFC Championship coming up. With the bad leg, Mahomes, he's got a, a high ankle sprain. That's tough. They're going to shoot him up, and he's going he's gonna to be, you know, numbed up as best as he can. And you, if he could, if he could play this week and he's doing well, he's not going to be able to run around like he sometimes does. But they're not relying on that as much this year. I feel like with the subtraction of Tyreek Hill, it kind of forced them to play closer, which made them sharper because Andy Reid is so brilliant, Mahomes is so good, Kelsey's so good. When you have a tight end that is the best receiver on your team with no legit wide receivers, like of no, like one, one A wide receivers, when you, when you build a team around your tight end and the two backs and – your quarterback is on one leg, and the tight end gets 10 catches in the first half and 14 for the game and 98 and two touchdowns, that that speaks volumes to me. So I'm really – I'm not going to discount the Chiefs at all. I don't have a pick yet for the AFC Championship. we got to have podcasts this week. Ryan and I are going on middle of the week. We've got a lot of things to look at. So right now, Mahomes – if he was totally healthy, I would be leaning Kansas City, but he's not. And that guy on the other side, we're going to get to Cincinnati with the next video. He's he's dangerous, but um, I like Kansas City a lot. They're going to be tough, and they're, I think they'll play a much better game against Cincinnati than Buffalo played. Buffalo has been overrated all year, and uh, that's what I think about that. Now, the Giants in Philly, Jason Kelsey advancing. I'm so upset. The Giants were the only embarrassment of the weekend out of the four underdogs, the four games. Jacksonville played really good, tough, almost had it. They had a chance to win. Uh, Dallas, as much as I don't like them, they, they had a chance to win at the end of the game. And then Buffalo, Buffalo got beat, but it was not as bad as the Giants. The Giants got smashed. When you got Gainwell running over 100 yards. Uh, let's look at Philly's team, first of all. Gainwell over 100. Boston Scott, big game. Miles Sanders was the low man with 90-something yards rushing. When a team has 278 yards rushing, you got to look. You got to look into it. <laughs> and when I checked into it, I, I, I actually saw Jason Kelsey literally pancake Leonard Williams with one arm. My buddy Oscar brought that to my attention. Jason Kelsey pancake and Leonard Williams. The offensive line literally, literally making holes the size that you could fit a truck through. I can't wait to see that Philadelphia offensive line against that 49er defense. There's a good thing there's a good thing there's gonna be a bye for a week in between the Super Bowl. Because that 49er Eagle game is going to be one of the most physical games we've seen in a long time. Those guys are going to be sore for two weeks. Philadelphia is strong. I make them my favorite right now to, to win the Super Bowl slightly. I would have them as a slight favorite. Um, 
I'm not even getting into sports book and the gambling stuff yet. That'll be tomorrow with Ryan. But Philadelphia, very tough, very physical offensive line, very good defense, studs on the outside. Look how much different. Now you see the levels. A.J. Brown and Deontay. A.J. Brown and Deontay. And then uh, Hodgins and Richie James and all these guys. It's not working. So you see the levels. Philadelphia. The Giants looked much different against Philly than they did against Minnesota. Dallas looked much different against the Niners than they did against the Bucks. Different competition. So, you know, I really, I really feel like the four best teams are left. And Philadelphia, Jalen Hurts, MVP like year. Brock Purdy outplayed Prescott yesterday. That's going to be a tough game. But as far as, as far as the Kelsey brothers having a chance to go to the Super Bowl. Very possible, very possible. But uh, I really like Philly, the way they looked against the Giants. How could you not? And Kansas City did what Kansas City does. So we got one team down, Philadelphia, one team down, uh, Kansas City, Saturday's winners. And, uh, and then we're going to cover Cincinnati, and we're going to cover San Francisco in the next video. But these are going to be classic, classic championship games. I think we're in for a great weekend, and I'm confused. I don't have a pick yet. Nooch, neighborhood picks. Like and subscribe.